dear chairman, dear colleagues. First of all, I would like to appreciate scientific organizing committee for the opportunity to present our data. Neuroblastoma is characterized by white clinical heterogeneity and different molecular genetic events underlie this heterogeneity. The most frequently used in, uh, in Russia uh, scheme of uh, program therapy of neuroblastoma German protocol NB2004 classifies uh, patients with neuroblastoma in the three risk groups and incorporates such uh, molecular genetic abnormalities as mechan amplification and uh, 1P deletion in order to stratify patients. At the same time, despite of multimodal treatment, the outcome of patients, especially in high-risk group, uh, uh, remains dismal. ING scheme also incorporates such molecular genetic abnormalities as mechan amplification, 1P and 11Q deletion in order to uh, stratify patients. So, uh, we aim to investigate prognostic significance of segmental chromosomal uh, aberrations or copy number variations, which are synonymous, uh, detected by MLPA uh, technique in neuroblastoma patients. In order to reach this aim, we uh, conduct a retrospective uh, cohort trial and 140 patients enrolled into this trial. Among 140 patients, 97 are alive, and 86 of them are alive without evidence of the disease. Adverse uh, events was noted in 52 patients. First of all, we compared data uh, obtained by MLPA, PCR, and FISH as a method of golden standard for CNV detection and uh, uh, and uh, we have seen that uh, it was seen that uh, uh, quality, uh, quality of concordance of this technique in mechan amplification detection was achieved on 100%, but MLPA allows us to uh, detect uh, mechan gene gain, but not amplification, and the quality of concordance range, uh, uh, quality of concordance uh, in uh, 1P deletion detection, achieved 95%. The first kit for uh, detection of CNVs in neuroblastoma, developed by MRC Holland Company, incorporates probes for uh, chromosomes 1, 3, and 11. And uh, such kinds of aberrations as 1P, 3P, and 11Q deletion, as well as loss, loss of whole chromosome 11, was not noted. 1P deletion resulted in decreasing of both event-free survival and overall survival rates in general for on patients, as well as uh, uh, patients from uh, favorable groups, such as below 18 months of age, in, uh, localized, in patients with localized disease and stage 4 x syndrome stomach, as well as we can see the copy patients. Presence of uh, Interchromosomal deletion of the long arm of 11, 11 chromosome uh, resulted in decreasing of overall survival, which, uh, but the difference, differences were on the order of statistical significance. Interestingly, that uh, 3P deletion demonstrated adverse prognostic significance in a special group of patients above 5 years of age, which are characterized in, in general by superior outcome. The second kit uh, of an LPA uh, includes probes for mechan gene area, which is uh, localized on uh, the short arm of chromosome 2, as well as uh, probes for 17 chromosomes. Mechan, is well known, mechan gene amplification is a well known adverse uh, prognostic marker in neuroblastoma, and in our series of patients, it demonstrates. Uh, very adverse prognostic significance. Interestingly, that amplification of uh, mechan gene and other genes located in 2P24 uh, region, such as NEA, GDPDX, or ILK, doesn't have any additional prognostic significance compared with uh, mechan amplification gene alone. The gain of uh, 2P region uh, containing uh, mechan gene, but uh, which didn't reach the level of amplification, had a prognostic significance in the 
favorable group of patients below 18 months of age. Semitrin so. QGain is the most frequent molecular genetic abnormality in neuroblastoma, which was uh, detected uh, in up to 50% uh, of the cases. And in our science, it had uh, a prognostic significance uh, in general cohort of patients. The third uh, kit for detection CMVs in neuroblastoma include uh, different probes for fourth chromosome and seventh chromosome. Interestingly, that uh, the application of chromosome 7 or 3 cm 7 resulted in a trend to decreasing both ventral survival and overall survival rates, but in generally uh, numerical chromosome alterations, but not segmental chromosome alterations, uh, corresponds to better outcome, which are markers of uh, near triploid coverage. Also, third uh, kit for neuroblastoma uh, includes uh, probes for chromosome 9, 12, and 13. And uh, when we analyzed uh, the status of uh, the short arm of chromosome 9, we saw adverse prognostic significance, which uh, was seen uh, in uh, reason of overall survival. Uh, this uh, significance was confirmed not only in univariate but also in multivariate analysis where a 9 p deletion uh, stage 4 and we can gene amplification demonstrated ad adverse prognostic significance. And the M2 gene which is located in uh, the long arm of chromosome 12 had some prognostic impact in uh, favorable Neuroblastoma, such, in, such as in patients with localized disease and 4S stage, in age less than one year, and in separate 4S stage. But due to limit a number of patients, in, the mo in most cases, differences did not achieve uh, statistical significance, and uh, uh, differences were significant only in younger patients. Also, we analyzed. Uh, copy number variations in pairs of primary tumor and in uh, case of relapse. 17 patients uh, with uh, both material from primary tumor and relapse were enrolled uh, into this part of study. We analyzed 22 uh, samples uh, of relapse in 14 uh, cases. We used uh, tumor tissue, but in eight cases we uh, use some kind of liquid biopsy when we analyze the uh, involved bone uh, marrow. Here you can see that uh, in these uh, patients the spectrum of uh, number variations uh, can change uh, in primary and relapsed tumor and uh, we, know, know, uh, we know that the appearance of new uh, number variations like original CMVs and the uh, presence uh, of the original state. And here you can see that uh, in most cases of presence of new CMVs resulted in adverse event and poor outcome. On this uh, and the next few slides you can see that uh, in all chromosomes evaluated by the B, uh, four scenarios of uh, CMVs were, uh, were noted. Uh, one is the retention of the absence of CMV, gray is the retention of the original CMV, red is the appearance of new CMV, and green is the lack of original CMV. And here, for example, you can see that in uh, chromosomes 11 and 12, the uh, part of the uh, appearance of new CMV was uh, quite huge. The same for chromosome 13 and 17. And we, when we analyze the survival of patients after the recurrence of neuroblastoma, in those patients who had a uh, new CNV in the relapsed tumor compared uh, to a primary tumor, the survival uh, was really low. But in those who had retention of original CNV or lack of CNV in the recurrent tumor, uh, survival rates were much higher. Uh, let me skip my conclusions, and I would like to thank all my, uh, thank all my collaborators from Russia and from the Netherlands, and uh, thank you for your attention.
Пожалуйста, вопросы. Question. Uh, we used both uh, fresh frozen tissue and uh, also we used uh, formal fixed paraffin tissue. So, do you have any, see any change in the, see the, because uh, in my case, when we do the AFP, the high incidence of the chromosome losses increase compared with the fresh tissue. Have you any, see any similar effect? Uh, uh, do you mean uh, differences between fresh frozen and formal fixed paraffin? Yeah. Yes. Actually, I have to say that uh, protocol uh, and the management uh, of formal fixed paraffin embedded tissue was much more complicated due to um, the degradation of uh, DNA and binding between uh, 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 covalent binding between both strands uh, of. Uh, DNA and uh, covalent binding between uh, DNA and proteins. But uh, due to uh, modification of the original uh, protocol of uh, DNA extraction, we, uh, we have solved, uh, solved the, uh, most of these problems and uh, we uh, put to obtain reliable data both from fresh frozen and paraffin embedded tissue. Gracias.